Many people think that sharpening a bread knife is difficult. It's not the same as sharpening a knife with a plain edge, but it's actually not that difficult. It can however be quite time consuming, so before you start sharpening your cheap bread knife, make sure it's worth your time. The best tool when sharpening a bread knife is a sharpening steel. Don't use a metal honing steel, those don't actually take away any material and can't make a dull bread knife sharp again. Today I'm using a ceramic sharpening steel because this bread knife is still pretty sharp and it will simply leave me with the best results. You can choose a diamond coated sharpening steel if your bread knife is really blunt or maybe even a bit damaged. How do you find out if your bread knife is too blunt? You can shine a light on the edge of the blade. Do you see a lot of reflections? Then a diamond coated sharpening steel will be your best option. It will take away material much faster than a ceramic sharpening steel. The diameter of the sharpening steel is also important. You'll need one that fits in between the serrations. For most bread knives, any of our sharpening steels will be fine. It's mostly for smaller serrated knives that you really need to look at the size of the sharpening steel. Look for the sharpened part of the blade. You'll notice that at least for most bread knives that one side of the blade is sharpened and the other side is flat. We're going to start with the sharpened side. Place the sharpening steel on the first serration and tilt the steel so it has the same angle as the serration itself. Now move the steel up and down to sharpen the edge. Uh, you could also move the knife, but in my experience, you have more control if you keep the knife still and just move the steel. Uh, how many times you need to spend on each serration, that depends on how dull your bread knife is. Usually 10 to 20 times you do the trick. After that, you move to the next serration. Now you will probably understand why sharpening a bread knife is a little time consuming. We are sharpening each serration separately. After sharpening each serration, we're going to flip the knife. On the other side, you should feel a little rolled edge. This means that you sharpen it all the way. If you don't feel an edge, you probably need to sharpen a little bit more before starting the last step. We're going to remove the burr by placing the knife on the sharpening steel as flat as possible, but without touching the whole blade. Now slowly move the bread knife over the steel. Once or twice should be enough. After that, you can use a cloth to remove any metal or sharpening residue from the knife. And that's it. If you want to start sharpening yourself, be sure to check out the description below for any other sharpening systems or sharpening steels that can help you sharpen your own bread knife.